okay so hello everyone on this video i will be discussing the file stream class or the stream writer so most of the time uh, file writers or file handling classes are used whenever we want to read from a text file for example we have a group of numbers or different uh, strings within a text file so basically uh, we use these classes, we use stream writers in order for us to get the value from a file or to be specific from a text file. And so to do that, we will be first discussing the file stream class. And to do that is we need to import, okay, we need to import system.io. So system.io contains the different uh, class library to hold the file stream. Okay, so first thing that we are going to do is to declare the file stream. So file has a file stream. Okay, so file stream because file stream is a uh, is a class. So we just are we are just going to instantiate. So file stream. Then let's say the first parameter contains a uh, the name of the text file. So what we're going to do is to use sample that text okay so the next one is the file mode so file mode open and create or create and maybe you're asking uh, what's the meaning of this so file mode is what we are what we want to do with the text file do we need to open it if it's existing or do we have to create it if it doesn't exist so that's basically what we used in the file mode of this class okay so the next parameter is what we are going with the text file what we are going to do so gagawin natin magirid tayo at magarite tayo sa text file so what we are going to do is to say file access then okay so there seems to be an error uh, file access then we want to read so let's say read write okay because you want to read and write but you can basically use the read only or the write only for security purposes okay so the next step we are going to do is to create a counter uh, we want to count numbers from 1 to 20 and that's uh, the things that we are going to read from the text file so to do that let's say for no let's first declare the integer so dmi as integer okay so for i is equal to 0 to 20 okay so going to do here is to write to the file so to do that is fight write byte okay so write byte which is uh we we going to write a number with the byte data type so it's the, it's the same as integer but uh, its capacity is less than that of the integer so basically it's just the same with the number so byte and then i okay so okay so on the side of this program we are writing on the text file writing on the text file okay so this part we are writing and then the next one is we are going to position or align it again to zero because we want to read from it so we need to go back to zero and maybe you're asking why do we need to position uh, this number to zero okay okay there seems to be an error okay okay so f1 position zero so why do we need to do that for example uh, this is your text file let's say let's draw a box here okay so for example this is your text file and this is your current pointer and you wrote for example you wrote number one so that's where your pointer is and for example you are going to input number two again so we write here and your pointer from this is going to move uh, to here and this pointer will be gone 
Okay, so that's basically uh, what this uh, what does uh, this pointer does. So for example, position uh, say position zero, position one, position two, position three, just like the ano, just like the concept of array that there is a location per uh, per number. So basically, this is where pointers are used. So that is what is indicated on this. Uh, position okay so next is we are going to read what we wrote from a text file so to do that let's just say for i is equal to 0 to 20 since we have 20 numbers that was written on our file so let's just output this one console that right mm, i want it line wrote right line so that we can output it per line okay so just add here a string manipulation technique so f1 read byte okay and of course we need to close the file after opening it and console that read key so that it will not uh, output or it will not close after outputting it Okay, so let's just run this one and let's just see the output. Okay, so you basically, uh, you can see here that we already have our output, but it didn't create a, uh, a text file. Uh, I'm not sure why it didn't write a text file, but... Uh, this is the output so basically what you can see here is it didn't exactly write on a text file but it writes on the memory so that's the difference between a file stream and a stream writer a stream writer really writes from a text file however file stream writes in a memory for the time being and maybe this is uh, one of the reason why stream writer is created okay so the next that we are going to do is to create the stream writer where we are going to write to a text file. Okay, so let me just comment it down here. And okay. Sige, dyan muna siya sa baba. Okay, so the, our next example is a stream writer class. For example, let's create a text file. Okay, so to do that, let's say new add new item. Then let's go to the general, then text file. Let's say sample. Oops. Sample. That text. Okay. So in your module, actually there is a uh, text there. So I'm just going to copy it there. So for example, this is what is written on your text file. So what we're going to do is we will be reading from it using a stream writer okay so let's just type it here so let's just add a try uh try block try block catch so what it so what it does is when there is an error encountered it will not automatically close the application if you can remember diba if my error means in sa code natin bigla na lang siya nagko-close but when we have a try catch try catch block it have it will have an error but it will not close the application so our application can run continuously okay so first is we'll be declaring uh, our stream writer so using sr as stream reader okay so new stream reader let's say since we created a text file with the same folder let's just say sample that text okay <clears throat> okay, so next is dim uh, line as string. And maybe you're asking why do we use string since our uh, values within the text file is a string. Okay, so next is line is equal to sr dot read line. So what this does is we will be reading. Uh, whatever that is read here per line 
so and we will be storing it in this one okay so the next you are going to do is to loop so that it will be able to loop uh, on the number or until it reaches the end of our text file for example this one so it will not stop looping until it goes here on 6 which it doesn't have any value so to do that we'll be having a condition while and then line okay nothing indicating na walang laman yung text file natin okay so console write line then line okay so you're maybe you're asking the using block so you using block is used so that uh, when we use this sr when we use this variable we can use it outside for example this one sr see uh, you can use this sr or you can see here that there is no variable indicating that there is an sr so basically you can only use it within the using block okay so you can see here it here and next one is um, okay my computer has logged anyways so we can uh, end using okay so basically let's just output uh, something if we uh, receive an error so console that right line the file could not be read okay so console that right line this is what amazing about vb.net uh, mas madali yung pag output ng error so that we can just easily use the x here and automatically create a file for us okay so let's just run this one okay i forgot the read key Let's see what is going to happen. Okay. There seems to be an error. Let me just close this one. Okay, there seems to be a log. Okay, let's stop the process. What did happen? So maybe we forget something. Uh, okay, so let's say console. That big key. Okay. Uh, let's just run it again and let's check if it's working. Okay, there still seems to be an error. And what could it be? Okay, so browsing for the error within the program. So the error was the, uh, let's say the directory. There is a problem on Visual Studio configuration. So I was not able to detect uh, the sample that text immediately. So I got the direct allocation from it and also uh, you can see here i add here a line that as a read line so anong yari hindi natin siya nalagay sa while loop so hindi siya nag read ng panibagong value so the loop continues again and again so that's what happened here so but just to run this one okay Okay, so it now works. Okay, so on this part of this video, I will be discussing uh, how are we going to read a uh, numbers from a text file, and then we are store we are going to store it on an array, and after storing it on an array, we are going to sort it and re and write it again on a text file. Okay, so basically we already have a uh, sample text here. So let me just replace these numbers and unsorted list. Let's say three, four, one, 
and then two okay we already have two so let's add four and then let's add zero okay so what mm, we are missing number eight so let's just increase this by number eight okay so we already have our unsorted list so what we are going to do is first is we want to read uh, on the text file so basically we already discussed it earlier so what we're going to do now is we will be declaring the values or we want to declare an array so to do that let's say dim uh, let's uh, number okay so it has a 10 uh, character array then integer okay so the next one is we will be setting a counter so that we will be able to store uh, different information within the array so let's say counter as integer let's set this to zero okay okay so so how can we store numbers or from the text file so to do that we are just going to indicate numbers then line no 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 numbers then counter okay so it starts with zero so we do here is line so however line is a string so we've read from a text file so it's a string so what are we going to do it's it's about we are going to uh, convert it to integer so to do that we can say convert that int okay and let's put this on a parenthesis okay <clears throat> sorry so again uh, we are we need to store it or we need to iterate our counter so we need to move from one location to another so that's why we are going to add one okay so again let's con so supposedly we are we need to contain uh, another line set of lines so let's say from zeros to one two three four five so we will go into iterate this one by one so to do that we just just convert it again okay so basically we already stored this on the array so how are we going to uh, output this one so let's just see if we are able to uh, to store it within the array so we can use for each statement so for each i in numbers okay so let's just see if there's a value for it and so that right line let's see there's supposed to be a numbers 1 to 10 oh files could not be read index was outside the bounds of the array oh uh, there is 11 okay we exceeded the maximum value Okay, so let's just run this again. Okay, so you can see here that we already read. However, uh, our array is not yet sorted. So what do we need to do? Let's sort it. So to be able to do that, here's a simple thing to sort an array using the .NET function. So to do that, we can just basically use this array that sort numbers. So it will automatically sort uh, the array. So if you still don't want to believe me, uh, let's just run this again. Okay, so you can see here our list is already sorted. But however, we already sorted the list but we still need to write it on a text file. So to do that, we just need to declare using sr or no, it's uh, stream writer. Let's name it sw. So s stream writer. A new stream writer okay so let's just add our physical location for the text file <coughs> excuse me okay so to write this one uh, we just need to iterate one by one so let's just add uh, end using okay so to add this one let's say for each Val, value in numbers. Okay, so iisa-isahin niya yung value na nasa array mo. So, this is the easiest way to get the values from the number. Okay, let's say 
Hmm. Now. Okay. So to write this one, we just going to uh, do this one. Right line as num. Okay. So let's just run this one. So we should see uh, the sorted list and also sorted on our sample text. Oh, yes to all. Okay. So you can see here. So that's basically how to write and then store and um, sort and then store it on a text file.